Okay, we are out of the easies, and now we're to the medium levels. All right, this one is green missile, and in this one, you know, it's like basically modern day. Uh, we've got to make a car with unleaded, naturally aspirated, premium unleaded, I might add. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because we have to worry about emissions, weight, got to have some reliability, but we got to keep the cost under 1700 Performance, I think we can get it, so. Let's go ahead and start. First of all, it's in line four. Now remember, on this one, we have cost to worry about, but we also have weight, so we're going to go with the aluminum. Those are just too much. It's not worth it, so. <laughs> no, we gotta keep our weight down. So, we're going to go with, uh, four inch bore. We're just starting off with this. We'll probably worry about it later. So four and four. That's a big old engine, right? All right. We have to worry about something. So let's go with the door overhead cam. Uh, we have to worry about costs. So let's go with four valves. Aluminum. Now we're going to go ahead and let's just go with no variable valves. And forged steel, forged H beam. We'll go with the hyperetic again because we still have to worry about emissions. It's got to be naturally aspirated. It's one of the requirements. Uh, we are going injection with a big fan of direct injection. Throttle per cylinder. Mm, you may need to worry about that later. Good performance. We are going with premium on little. As it's a requirement. And worry about that stuff now a little bit. It's going to need tubular. Gotta worry about emissions again. We go with three way. And we'll go with baffled for the moment. Alright, so our cost is rather high. And we've got to lower the weight. So, we knew our engine would be big, so... So, let's go ahead and go back to this. Lower that four down. Thirty-two eighty. And stroke down just a little bit. Three point five on a stroke. Now let's see. Now we've got one about our costs, so <sighs> where are we gonna cut costs at? Right there. Alright, so we're already at silver. We can make this better. Let's go ahead and get our new test in. So, we've got a little bit of money room to play with. If we need it. Everything over here is looking good. First of all, let's go ahead and increase our RPM. Oh, there we go.
fuel mixture. And ignition timer. Ooh, we can turn that all the way up. Now, one of the things we gotta worry about on this one. Uh, let's see. Pressure. We have not changed that at all. We can increase the cam profile just well, a lot actually. So twelve sixty. All right, so now we can actually start increasing the quality of it. Remember, we got some room to play with. Not much. Hmm. It's driving our costs up, though. here restricting airflow so we go over here and now we can increase our exhaust a little bit it gives us a little bit more power We kept our cost down. So, really, I'm not exactly sure where to make the changes on this. Let's actually go in here and start. Seventy nine, almost four eighty. Now we've got some weight. We have to, uh, you know, we we'll have to work on performance a little bit. So, Hams out of it too while we're at it. Hey, there we go. We hit gold. That's not bad. Now we can hit all the cam right there. But we're at 1308. Still got, you know, uh, a highly advanced ignition timer.
it's an increase in arcane per power. Look at that. We kept the cost down at 1280. So, to be honest, I think we're well, going to just go ahead and stay with the gold for now. I mean, we got us a great engine, we got a four cylinder, we met all these requirements, and, you know, we're putting out 149 horsepower at 7300 RPM. That's, you know, we almost made another race buggy. So, I, I, I think they'll be uh, quite satisfied with the uh, engine that we give them. So, alright guys, uh, until next video, take care.